What's going on, man? Right now, we getting into Latin Kings inside Chicago Game War, man. If you're new to the channel, like and subscribe, man. Let's get straight into this, man. It's my city, man. Here, you know what I'm saying? Wait, at 8 o'clock tonight? I'm trying to see if I know who yeah. I'm yeah. yeah. They made a threat at a specific time that 8 o'clock yeah. now. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tommy G. I'm in the hood of Latin Kings in Chicago. Hey, they don't. At what age did you lose some people? 12 years old. I'm from 25th, nigga. Free the Boulevard, 24th Street. Two to one You catch me on TV, talking about on MC. You could catch me on the scene. I'm posted with the team. You asking, I got the drop. You want a vest? Bro, I got one in my trunk. <laughs> The Latin Kings are one of the most feared criminal organizations in the world. The Kings were formed in hey, Chicago play, in the 1960s to overcome racial discrimination and stood by three main principles. Protect their families, protect their neighborhoods, and protect each other. Since the 60s, they have grown into Chicago's largest street gang with an estimated 25,000 members. Because the King leaders are currently incarcerated, they have developed a sophisticated system of communication that allows them to call shots within penitentiary walls. Today, we head to Little Village on the southwest mm -hmm. side of Chicago, which is the birthplace village. of the Kings and an area in which they thrive. Let's hit the streets. I knew, boy, they don't play in Little Village. I knew he was going to be in Little Village. It's crazy. I don't even go. I don't go to Little Village at all. I don't go there at all. Ladies and gentlemen, I feel like I have the best job I ain't saying in the like world. that, Today, like that, I'm on the but... south side of Chicago, pulling up to meet with some Latin kings. I just don't I'm go there. Excited, you know what I'm saying? Life is a goddamn adventure. They got a lot of shit there, but... exact location that you don't want to pull up when a Mexican guy tells you to, I feel like. This looks like a place you disappear. You just get brought to a warehouse, and they're like, Ay, caramba, I'm going to cut your balls off. Nice to meet you, man. Nice <laughs> yeah, to meet you. Really it's sketchy out here. Yeah, yeah it's Chicago. Yeah, we're the most weird neighborhood in Chicago. Out of all the Mexican little villages, we be f***ing shit up anyway. Little Where's village the history be going crazy, area? boy. Well, Polish, back in the days, it'd be Polish. From the early 90s, it turned all Mexicans and stuff. But it was really the white folks that started all the gangs around here. It's where a lot of the gangs started. So I've been trying to find a white gang. What are the white gangs in the area? 12th Street Players. 12th Street Players? Right, they're like... Are Italian. they still around? Yeah, they're, they're still player. around. You white folks out there that are in a gang, I want to talk to you. So DM me, email me, TommyGMcGee123 at gmail.com. Love to chat with you. What are the politics of this area? On this side, you got Atlanta Kings. If you go over there, you got the SDs. What is SDs? Satan Disciples. Yeah. Holy yeah. shit, yeah. dude. They pray for the devil and shit like that. It started off as a white gang, but now cool. Mexicans. You got Kings, SDs, and against 2 6. Do any of them get along? None of them get along. King Von been in that jail in Cook County. Yeah, everybody been in this jail. So, Cook County. All the famous rappers, uh -huh. little dirt, all you them. Go down okay, we'll give you the history on Cook County because we drove right past it. It's a crazy looking jail. Cook County Jail is without a doubt one of the most dangerous jails in the country. Imagine this you have all of the most violent gang members and criminals locked in one place in Chicago. That's Cook County. To give you an idea of what kind of brutal environment Cook County is, in 2016, corrections officers sustained over 500 attacks from inmates, and at one point, 90 inmates filed a lawsuit against officers for beatings with brass knuckles and other inhumane treatment. This is undoubtedly a rough place to live. And just for the record, Lucian Films is not associated with any gangs. Or just show music videos. They're all, all hoods. You're neutral and you just help people bring their art to life. Yep. I would say I'm the same category. I have no enemies. I don't want any enemies. I just let people tell their story on the platform. Mm -hmm. When you guys are masked up like this, do you think that you're causing concern to the other people here? Like they're wondering what the hell is going on? I don't look like they care. Because I feel yeah. like if I brought my kids here and I saw a bunch of dudes in masks, I'd be like, all right, kids, maybe we should walk <laughs> over to the other side, you know? Right. Back in the days, it'd be a little racial. So we'd have blast against the Mexicans. If things cooled off. I mean, but you gotta think about it though. That's Everybody was mad. It's not a moment that happened during COVID and the George Floyd riots. That was the craziest thing ever. All the blacks were coming to our community and robbing. So we're, we're, we're like basically protecting all, all down 26th Street, mm -hmm. making sure the blacks did not steal because they were stealing all down 26th Street. Was protecting that shit though. I'm with that shit. I'm with that shit. This is where we come and we show them Facts. who we are. We protect I remember. our business, our investments. Hey, what's up? Not a single store I remember. got sold. Has anyone been known I to remember. escape from this place? And and and, no, and and all the blacks went through you fucking Facebook. To myself, ah, they, they stick together. And y'all, 10 y'all who's up? Stupid motherfuckers, bro. I remember that. Everybody, everybody on Facebook talking all that shit, but they still losing. 
What am I supposed to do? I'm already a Stupid gangster. motherfucker. He said he a gangster. What's up, fellas? How you guys doing? Capital B, C block. We in the field. 51st of Capital. You already know what's up. This the Ville Kia boys and this I think you guys are the first Mexican Kia boys I've ever met before. What were they throwing out? <laughs> GDSD, basically they dropping folks. We saying GDK, but we don't really go at it with the blacks. We just go at it with each other. Mexicans against Mexicans. We don't really fight with blacks and stuff like that. Teach me some of the lingo of the area. It's oh, crazy because in Chicago, if y'all don't like, bro, if y'all in Chicago, bro, and, and, and Hispanic motherfucker walk up to you, they usually say, if you black, they be like, is you GD? I swear to God, they do not like GD. Is you GD? I swear to God, this is your favorite. Know. The you guys favorite speak Spanish, line, bro. You GD? Spanish you is GD. They don't be wanting to hear nothing you be saying. Yes, you is. Yeah. Did I just diss somebody here? Now, I have no idea what that meant. The only gang I ride with is the Big Dog Gang. We got shirts like this and like this. This channel does not diss anybody. We're neutral. Thank you. Nah, you didn't just know one, you good. Yeah. What do you call that haircut? That's what you call it. Shag, you know what I'm saying? It's like if you see somebody walking right now with a shag game, you already know you're gambling because of that shag yeah. on. Like a target, you know? It's like right now, if I walk right now down the street, I know I'm going to be a target, so. All right, fellas, well, stay safe and oh, keep growing that hair I didn't out, okay? know that. I ain't going to lie, I did not know that. I don't know how the Hispanic gang culture works, bro. Not going to lie. I didn't know the long ponytail thing was a... Shit, I'm in it. I'm in that shit. He said a shag. Oh, they in the hood, though. So. How you doing? How you doing? Good. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's a sure sign that somebody is about it in the streets around here? You can't never tell now on this. Some people look like regular people. For and real? you got a gun on them, you wouldn't even know. People like these people right here look regular people, but they could be killers. You never know. For instance, Facts. I would say a babe hoodie. Nah, we don't really get into that swag fashion stuff. People up north will do that, though. Que puedes decir a la gente sobre el pueblo pequeño? Que venga el molde de la 26, que no está cerrado y que no se va a cerrar. Latino y americano y todo. ¿Por qué? Porque arriba México y arriba Chicago. You guys identify more with being American or Mexican or a mix? A mix. A mix, probably. Yeah. Are you proud to be an American? Oh, yeah, always. Yeah. Proud to be American. I'm just proud to be here. My dad <laughs> <Trump>. <laughs> he drunk. <laughs> a lot of Mexicans fuck with Trump. Really? I fuck with Trump. The media be having you feel like Trump is bad, My but once you actually do your research here, and shit, gone. you realize what's good and what's bad. So right now he's in a big controversy. They're trying to put him in prison for up to 20 years for espionage. Do you think it's a witch hunt or do you think he might be guilty? It's a witch hunt. They don't like Trump because he said the truth. When you speak the truth, they'll try to get rid of you. I feel like they try to spread the narrative that Trump hated Mexican people. Now Obama deported more Mexicans than, more Mexicans than any other president combined. With Trump, at least you know what he's going to do because he don't lie. Everybody else is like they're going to lie to our face. Do you trust the government? Did he say Obama? You can't trust the government. In the past year, like about a year and a half ago, you seen nothing but Mexicans right here in Little Village. But now it's nothing but Guatemalans and stuff because they're sending from Texas over here to uh, downtown and they're sending from downtown and sending them right here to Little Village. I mean, so far they Damn. haven't really started no trouble no trouble or nothing, but now it's hard to get rent and stuff, but it ain't nothing because we're at once we were all immigrants here. You yeah. feel me? He like, shit, they just trying to get their little way. They trying to get their foot in the door. I feel them. A lot of these places have been robbed recently, right? Yeah, mostly everybody been robbed right here. Muchas lugares que vende elote, drones viene. Ah, viene ni te. Con un arma? Con arma. Three, four guns, put them in your face, give me your money. Sí. Yeah. Yeah. Hombres ponen un arma en tu cara. Ajá, sí. Es muy loco. Vienen así, mira como él. Damn. Sí, desde el dolor. Hombre es mexicano? No, moreno. Moreno. People are coming robbing is like 90% black, really. That's just robbing our own neighborhood. Me asaltaron aquí de este lado y de ahí dieron la vuelta por acá y salieron otros dos y me pusieron aquí, acá una pizarra. The reason they target all these people is because they know they're illegal immigrants and they know that none of these people can have guns. La policía ayuda a ti o no? Sí, pero ellos no pueden agarrarlos a ellos. I know, they so quick, and the police come so slow, they'll never catch them. You gotta think about it, everybody be... I saw some hand signals going on over there. I think I'm gonna get shot on. It's sad to hear this happening to small business owners. It's already nearly impossible. It's already like a 90% fail rate to be a small business. And then especially a little one on the corner getting robbed. 
It's just bullshit, dude. So where are we right now? Everybody riding in. All the taco trucks and shit we got in this shit. This one of the best ones in the area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What does your grandma think when she sees you in the ski mask? I mean, she be tweaking that shit, but you know, gotta watch out out here, you know? Are there any gangster chicks around here? Oh, a ton of gangsters. Tortas out here. There you go, I'm playing. I don't know. Tortas. You call them tortas. I want to meet a torta. You want to meet a torta? We filmed the first part of this video on an ordinary day in June and went back in September on Mexican Independence Day where things were happening. Mm. I'm not trying to get wrapped him, up in that? any like rivalry shit. Mm -hmm. They. Hey. hey. What the f Dude, f no. He went after a guy with a machete? Oh! Ooh. What the f Hey, Holy no. Fucking shit, bro. How is no one hey, dead? Hey, they go. We'll hit you up in just a little while then, okay? Hey, I ain't gonna lie. They go crazy for their money. They flood the whole city. They be everywhere. If he just... Somebody with a they be machete? in the suburbs, they be downtown, they be in Black Hood, White Hood, They Hood. If you hadn't everywhere, been involved bro. in something sketchy earlier, I wouldn't be having any second so they be in thoughts, Chinatown, they be everywhere. Like... Aren't people going to want to circle the block for you later today? Is the guy alive? What's that? Yesterday? With the police. Get down all that way. <laughs> Bro, what's the point of blanking his voice out, right? And then y'all finna go link up with him. You're a sitting duck, basically. We'll see you in a little bit, okay? They go crazy for their money, boy. Flags all on the front of the hood. So we're on here the back window, Chicago, in the famous wrapped little in village, the old car. On a special day, Mexican Independence Man. Day. And we're here to explore Ain't what no it's day. like to be they a They got Latin a whole king. month, and It's bro. honestly a little bit scary because there's an active turf war going on between three rival Mexican gangs. I'm someone that is here for peace and uniting people. It's rumored that in Chicago alone, there are 10 to 20,000 Latin kings. And that's just one gang. That is a lot of people. We're gonna hit the streets. We're gonna go to the street. Bro, we're going to the street. Nigga, all day. What are we celebrating today? Nigga, Mexican, Mexican day. Nigga, independence. Mexican Mexican independence. Yeah. Fuck this on, shit, bro. dude. A lot of people have been commenting, come to this place, but hey, you wanna join my game? Big dog gotta eat. We're nationwide. We're growing. We're actually worldwide. I get orders from all over the place, and I love to see it. If you wanna join the coolest game in the country, big dog gotta eat. We <laughs> out here in little 26, up, my niggas. Little Look, village boy. What is the celebration about today? So we out here Independence Day, you feel me? We out here celebrating our heritage. I feel like important to everybody is that feeling of freedom and independence. Like it just gets your blood pumping. Like you, yeah, yeah. we were all born to be free and do what we want. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. Thought I'd call it Bruce Wayne, bitch hit harder than Bane. Chief keep I go bang bang, keep a drum, don't gotta aim. Nigga, you know where we at, nigga, 28th Street, no little city, nigga, get with it, get whacked. Where y'all from? Oh, hey, nigga. Hey, nigga. What's the lingo around here? The folks, you know what I'm saying? Big ol' SDK, all around here. Big ol' SDK, you know what I'm saying? There's a heavy police presence right here. Big ol' SDK, I'm not gonna say that, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> I didn't want to do it. got nothing to do with me. It looks like blocks that are right next to each other are kind of yeah, beefing. Yeah. Nah, ain't no blocks beefing. Don't it shit. We don't fuck with cross cow. You cross cow, you get it fucked over. Is it possible you think to make peace? Ain't no peace, man. That's what I say, man. What is this area known for? They say, what's this area known for? Huh? They say, what's this area known for? What? They say, what's this area known for? 
I'm from 25th, nigga. What's up? Borderline, Special California. Special 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 Rockwell killer, two four killer, nigga. Lazy burns, nigga. How much you have to make to be like, okay, I'm rich now? You know to keep your family straight. A lot of people are squeezed because grocery prices are going up. Everything's Max. going up. Hey, you gotta hustle through that shit. Go to work and make your bread. What's gonna happen tonight, you think? Man, you never know. You never ain't for the state too much. Hey, look, the hospitals they tell me they from be out here. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'm just not built for it. Yeah. But I would get nervous if this is my life day to day. Shout out, little wacko. That's how you stay alive. Where you stay? Where you stay? Where you stay? Stay nervous. Stay away. I said y'all already talk a lot, y'all already body. Hey. Slide on my block and we catching a body. Me and Lil hey. T, we like joining the Scotty. Hey. How about the Cardi, you know it's a homie. Go ask around if you want no bomb. Whole lot of rounds of my nigga try to rob me. Glock in the box, got me feeling like Roddy. I need me a new bitch to ride for that body. I'm the class, he's there, I'm a sign. Fuck it, tell me, don't spend my time. No Fuck it, let me go aim at his body. Why these niggas talking like they know about me? Too glass while I'm on it, too sick and tired. Niggas play stupid, what's good up to fight? Anything come through, he blow on the bitch and niggas out. Oh, but, um, <laughs> I'm praying for peace. Yeah. Hey, y'all gonna catch some action though at yeah, 8 o'clock on, bro. We oh, gonna but, um, 8 o'clock, bro. Oh, but, um, Wait, at 8 o'clock tonight? Yeah. What time is it? It's 7.30. You want a vest? Bro, you want a vest? <laughs> I got one in my trunk. I don't want to see anyone you get hurt. Vest? They made a threat at a specific time at 8 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So when I do these videos, like it always stands out to me like, how different someone's life experience could be. You could be an Amish guy that's with your farm and your goats, and then you could be living like this, where like there's a bunch of kids. I mean, how how old do you think the average kids are? I'm 23. Right? I'm 17. No, no, no. I know 13 year olds out here smoking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you guys have any Spanish words you could teach me about the area? Like, what made you choose street life? Street life. Street life. Street life. What are the upsides to the street life, and what are the downsides? The upsides is getting money. You know what I'm saying? The downsides ended up in a grave. Or jail, you know what I'm saying? You don't want ever none of that shit come to you. Do you know many that's, people that that's, that's happened yeah, to? Yeah, I, 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 I got a couple man. cousins from my nigga Wicked. What does your mother think about this? this? My mother passed away, gang. I don't got a mother right now, or I got a father right now. I lost both of them, gang. You know what I'm saying? How old were you when that happened? I, it recently happened, two years ago. I lost my mm. uncle last year. I lost my daddy a couple years ago, the year before. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, my it's, it's yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That loud kaboom got my heart rate up. That's nothing until you hear coming towards you, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What, what made you come into the street like this, Tony? At what age did you lose some people? 12 years old. How did you see life after that, after losing somebody close to you? That shit hurt. That shit made me want to push more and shit. Like, it comes with the lifestyle, for real. So this hairstyle, me and you in this shit? Oh, damn. You the type to talk it out. I'm the one to chalk it out. No, I like the chopper sound. I like the hard down. Bro, I'm oblivious. What's life like right now? Man, it's just shit crazy, gang. You feel me? Ain't no joke, gang. This shit real life in the mud, gang. You feel me? Man, where we at, bro? What made you choose this path? Once you live in this hood, you know, it's all family. You don't choose this life. Life chooses you. Bad, you bro. have children yet? Majority, majority of the time, bro. The reason why you feel so connected to the to, to the people you in a gang with is because you legit grow up with them. Like you be in the sandbox for real, like Pampas. You grow up with them. You go through grammar school or middle school, high school, and then if y'all don't finish and go to college, y'all outside together. So that's why you so close to your members. Like, I don't see why people don't understand that. Like, that logic is just so simple. Every few minutes, an explosion is going off. Be regular you just feel the energy like, oh, let's get in the game. No. Like, people are expecting something to happen. And they say that in 15 people. minutes, there's going to be a shootout. And that's the last thing I want to be a part of. I always hope people can find a way to find peace and love and brotherhood in this world. And uh, this shit is no joke. So we got a couple more minutes until we got to head out. I heard at 8 o'clock shit's going down. And that's not you the I want to be a part of. So I'm going to be out of here. I got you. If people tell me at 8 o'clock there's a shootout, guess what my instincts are? Get the <laughs> out of here that's my answer yeah, the ops just know we out here because they know we be out here you know? we outnumber them they won't even think about pulling out on this block but <laughs> what's the initiation process mm -hmm. to get into we this don't about that no it's the secret i speak about that can a white boy join yeah. tommy 28th street how do i gotta make any tommy 20 what you got gang what's up gang that's that nigga. we do this shit for real what you talking about that's a wrap folks i'm going back to the safety of milwaukee ah. <laughs> Come back. I appreciate the yeah, hospitality. Come back. I wish peace and prosperity yeah. for you guys. This ain't nothing though. Come back. There's very few times where I feel like we have to get the hell out of here. Do yeah. you feel that right now? I'm feeling that right now. <laughs> that may be the most reckless squad we've worked with yet. Did you guys feel a little nervous? Uh, yeah. <laughs> what the f***?
Especially because they're spraying the... I got yeah. a gun pointed at my face like two or three times. Oh, the ops are coming. They, they were excited <laughs> about it. Our plan was to meet with the OG that kind of runs things in this area. And we were just early to the party. So he hadn't popped out yet. But we can become so much in this life if you apply yourself the right way. Who am I to say that if I grew up here, surrounded by it i mean if ops are two blocks away either way you kind of have to join like what are you going to get beat up or bullied or bitched to not join like even just the basic they don't decency even be there not though. pointing a gun at somebody's face dog man they say you you love you scared yeah dog they said there's a shootout at eight o'clock i'm not trying to be a part of that shit. that means like the video tape. They made a threat at a specific time that yes, 8 o'clock Yes, yeah. yes. Anything come through, we blowing the bitch ass niggas out. When you're in a really treacherous area, everyone is a potential He said threat. that being like the a mind video suit. relax. It's survival mode. Like exactly, all the time. Just, oh, I'm Stay gonna read scared, scared is staying alive, and bro. Take notes and highlight it. Of course. Hope these types of places become more stable. You're supposed to be scared. Safe you're supposed everybody. to be on every so car. You're supposed to be on every cut. That's how you stay alive, my boy.